Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and you see this eel right here? He has no weaknesses, and he's an absolute animal in raids. So let's start off with where to find him. I actually can't mine in a raid, but if you want to actually find him, you can just come out here. So once you're far enough, it should say North Paldian Sea. You want to go a little bit more after that, and then just look around this area, and you should find one, a little tiny mo. If they are underwater, just hold your left trigger on them and then click your right trigger. If you're struggling to find them, you can use an electric type sandwich and then you just want to catch them. It will be the electric type terror. You don't need to worry about that. Mine was fighting, but I caught it in a raid. Now the item we're going to be going with is yet again the Shell Bell. Shell Bell is going to be an extremely good item on this Pokemon. We're going to be outputting a lot of damage, but we're going to be using two different moves. So Metronome won't really work here. To get the shell bell, just come to Lavincia North, and then I want you to visit the Delhi Bird Shop. Click on Battle Items, and you can buy it for twenty thousand Poker Dollars. It will recover an eighth of health that you do in damage, so it's going to keep you alive all raid. So just equip that in onto your Electros. After you do this, we're going to be turning right and going into the Transy Supply Shop. This is where we're going to buy our Nature Mints. So if you scroll all the way down till you get to the light blue, you will see the Modest Mint. It costs twenty thousand. This will increase your special attack and reduce your attack. Even though we have higher attack, we will be running a special attack in build. It's vital because one of the moves that we learn is just incredible for special attacking. So as you can see there, up in special attack, down in attack. Now the EVs we're going to go for are going to be a special attack and HP to maximize that attacking capability and survivability. If you don't know where to actually get your EV items, you can go back in the Chansey Supply Shop. And then you can buy 26 HP ups and 26 calcium. This will get you to max HP and max special attack if you don't already have any EVs on your Pokemon. This will cost you 520,000 Poké Dollars, however. An alternative way to do it if you're low on funds is just come inside the Deli Bird Shop, click on General Goods, scroll to the bottom, and all these power items can actually EV train your Pokemon. You'll just need to take out a bunch of wild Pokemon while the Pokemon you're training is in your party to do this. So the ones you'll be looking for will be the HP and the special attack items. Separate video on that coming soon. Now I also want you to make sure you have max IVs as well. To check this, go in your main menu, click on your boxes. Hover over your Electros and then click your plus button. On the right, it'll take you to a screen that shows you your max IVs. As you can see, when I caught this Pokemon, it had three best IVs, so I didn't need to buy three bottle caps. Saved myself 60,000 Poké Dollars. I suggest you check just in case you can do the same. And then what you want to do is head inside a Deli Bird Shop, click on General Goods. The first item will be a bottle cap. You want to buy however many you need to get your max IVs on everything except attack, because we're not a physical attacker. After this, fly over to Montenevra. And then we're going to be going speaking to the person next to the Obama Snow. He will hyper train your Pokemon. Click your Electros, click Bottle Caps, click HP, Defense, Special Attack, Special Defense, and Speed. Then click Start the Training. Now, as you may know, Electric types can be a pain because they only have one weakness, which is Ground types. Well, Electros doesn't have any weaknesses. He has Levitate, which means he can't be hit by ground type moves. Unless, of course, the raid boss nullifies that for a turn. But yeah, he, he can't be super effective hit by anything. That's what makes him so good in raids. This is the only ability he has, so you'll have it when you get the Pokemon, even if you catch it in a raid. I guess that's all that needs to be said about the ability. It's an amazing ability for him. Let's move on to the moves. So the moves we're going to be running are Thunderbolt, Acid Spray, Eerie Impulse, and Gastro Acid. Now there's one of two ways you can go about this moveset. You can replace Gastro Acid with Electric Terrain if you really want to, to avoid that sleep and power up your Electric type moves. But I use this Pokemon to take out like different Pokemon that have Defiant, like Annihilate and stuff like that. So Thunderbolt's going to be a really powerful move, 90 power, 100 accuracy, can paralyze your opponent, great move, that's our main attacking move. Now Acid Spray is going to be the key to this build. So it's got 40 power, 100 accuracy, it's not stab, but every time we attack it reduces their special defense by two stages, and because it's an actual attack it can break through the shield. This move is the whole reason this build is going to just be amazing. Our third move is going to be Eerie Impulse. What this does, it reduces the special attack of the opponent by two stages. So if you're against a special attacker, you literally just cannot lose. And Gastro Acid will just nullify the opponent's ability. So it's good against them defying the Moxies and stuff like that. So at the start of the fight, instead of them being able to set up with their Defiant, you'll be able to set up while they can't do anything. 
Now, Gastro Acid is going to be the only move that we actually learn through level up. So when you get to level 100, just relearn that. The other three moves will be through TMs. So we're going to go over to a TM machine, which are at any Pokemon Center. And first up, we're going to get the Poison type move out of the way, which is going to be TM 13 Acid Spray. What you'll need for this is three Toxel Sparks and three Wooper Slimes. Let me show you where to get these. You will need LP for all of these TMs, but I'm guessing you've got quite a bit of that if you've been doing raids. So for our Toxels, we're going to be coming right here. So I want you to fly over to Alpha Nada. Once you go out a little bit to the green grass, you should be able to see Toxtricity and then you just want to take him out and you will get your Toxel Sparks. As for your Wooper, I want you to come right here on the map. So just fly over to Paco Path Lighthouse and make your way over or the Shrine if you have it. So when you get over to this bit right over here, just drop down to this water and on the side or in the water, you will find your Wooper. It'll take you no time to find them at all and just take them out and get your Wooper Slime and you can learn your Acid Spray. So the remaining two moves are going to be electric type moves. So I'm going to make an avocado sandwich so that electric types are more likely to appear. It'll just speed things up a little bit. So the next move is going to be Eerie Impulse TM96 and we're going to need three Voltorb Sparks and three Shinx Fangs. So to get Shinx you want to fly over to South Province Area 3 and then as soon as you go outside the Pokemon Center you should more or less see one and you just want to take it out and get your Shinx Fangs. And for our Voltorbs we want to fly up here and we're going to go to East Province Area 3 Watchtower and around this location is where we're going to find our Voltorbs. So take them out, get your Voltorb Sparks, you've got your Eerie Impulse and now we can move on to tm 126 thunderbolt this will cost us five pachirisu fur three tadbulb mucuses and three pichu furs so let me show you where to get these these can be a bit tougher to find if you don't know where you're looking starting off with pikachu we're going to come all the way to the bottom right around here and what i want you to do is come right here on the map so fly over to cartondo east and then we're just going to be making our way over it does help if you have an electric type sandwich for these two moves that's why we got acid spray first and all i want you to do is drop down off this little cliff area and this is where we're going to find our pikachus you can also find pichus here and you're going to take them out and you will get your pichu fur next up i want you to fly over to south province area for watchtower and then we're just going to be dropping down and we're going to be looking around this location for a Pachirisu. Now, even though we have an electric type sandwich up, I always find it a little bit more difficult to actually find Pachirisu. So you might have to search for a little bit. I would recommend a sandwich. There's one right over there. So we're going to go take that out and that will get us our Pachirisu for. Next up is going to be Tadbulb. You probably see a lot of Tadbulb uh, wandering about. You've probably seen a ton of them everywhere. But we're going to be going right here on the map to find it. It's not that far away. I'm going to fly back to South Province Area 4 Watchtower. And then we can just fly over. So once you get near the water, you should start to see some on the side. Very tiny, but they've got a big yellow head. So you just want to take those out. And you will get your Tadbulb Mucuses. And then you can go learn Thunderbolt. And now that we've gone over the full build, let's get into some raids. But before we do, I just want to say we've got a Discord server. Tons of fun over there. Link will be in the description. Everyone's welcome. Would love to see you there. Let's get into those raids. So our first raid is going to be a six star water type King Gambit. Hopefully it does have Defiance so I can show you how good this Pokemon is against Pokemon with those strong abilities. And hopefully we've got no one with Intimidate. So we do not have anyone with Intimidate. That's good. But he has pressure anyway, so it don't really matter. So I guess no gastro acid, we'll just use acid spray. So we use acid spray, turn one, decrease that special defense by two stages. He's gonna hit us with a Kowtow Cleave. Gardevoir coming in with a synchronize to paralyze it after it uses Thunder Wave. It can't actually use Thunder Wave on us because we're an electric type. Another plus about Electros. We get a second acid spray off. Now just to be safe so he doesn't remove negative effects from himself, I like to use two acid sprays and then attack as opposed to using three. It always works out better in my opinion because sometimes when I've used three, he just removes it straight away. But if I use two and then use a Thunderbolt, we at least get our health back and then he removes it. So if he removes it, we're not getting any health back from that Shell Bell. There we go, he removed it. So I'm gonna Terrestrialize and use Acid Spray. I'm only Terrestrializing now, even though we're not using Thunderbolt, because if we use Acid Spray and then he takes away our Terra Charge, we can't Terra next turn, and that's less health recovered. Less health recovered, sorry. Reduces special defense by two stages. Get two health back. If he hits us with a crit now, it doesn't even kill us. So we're going to use another acid spray. If we're not going for the one shot, then I always like to go by the rule of one to two, like stat reducing move maximum. And now we can use Thunderbolt. 
So as you can see, it's doing a decent amount of damage to that shield and we get all the health back plus more than he did to us last turn. He's removed negative effects from itself. He seems to be doing that a lot this raid. He uses Night Slash, critical hit, steal some of our Terra Charge. So now we don't have an option. We can't use Acid Spray. We're too low on health. So we're going to use Thunderbolt. Going to get some of that health back unless he crits us. He can't kill us. He does something. I think he nullified. We're going to do some more damage. He's going to attack us. He will finish us off here, but it doesn't really matter too much because he's very low on his shield and we still have more actual time than the actual health bar. So here we're going to use Acid Spray, reduce that special defense. His shield does go down and now we can just use Thunderbolt. We're just getting that last bit of damage now. We don't really need to use two Acid Sprays. He's not got a lot of health. We're not after damage right now, we're just after a few turns to finish him off. He does use Sword Stance. That won't be a problem at this point though, because he can't one-shot us. We're going to use Thunderbolt again. We regain like 30 health to go back to full health. There's no way he kills us here, even with a crit. It would have been close if he did get the crit, actually. And now we're going to finish him off with a Thunderbolt. As you can see, that Shell Bell really helps. I don't know why he was removing effects so much. I've not actually... Pokemon, even 6-star raids, don't usually remove negative effects that much. But let's get into that second raid. So we found our second raid. It's going to be a 5-star water type Staraptor. Let's get straight into it. I don't think Staraptor has any abilities we need to worry about. Probably just Intimidate. But we're not a physical attacker, so that don't really matter. So we're going to use Acid Spray, turn 1. It's going to use Close Combat. That's going to be fine. It's going to do quite a bit of damage, as you can see. But it'll also just kind of screw itself up with the down in defense. So now it's on minus 3. Because it's probably just going to keep using Close Combat. Because we're an electric type. It can't use Brave bird really it's not going to do damage oh i stand corrected it is going to use brave bird but it's on minor three special defense now so we're going to get into the thunderbolt straight away as you can see it's doing a ton of damage we could have used another there and tried to one shot but i don't really see the need i just want to secure the win even though it is fun going for the one shots going to nullify the stats on our side that's fine it's going to nullify them again that's fine again i guess i thought it was going to nullify him again then and then remove negative effects from itself so now we can use acid spray because it goes right through the shield it's going to use double edge i wasn't aware that it had that it does do a lot of damage uh, we're going to use acid spray reduce that special defense by two stages it's going to remove negative effects from itself that's not good now we was just using acid spray until we got our actual terrestrial eyes because while the shield's up you're not doing any damage really unless you actually have terrestrial eyes. So we don't need to use acid spray again, we could just terrestrial eyes and use Thunderbolt. It's gonna be a guaranteed two hit KO. Might not do it in one, hopefully it does. It's just reduced its own special defense, so hopefully it does now. Okay, so it does get the kill. I'm not sure it would have done if it didn't use close combat on us, but the Staraptor goes down very easy. We didn't go down, we didn't even be close to going down. Now let's move on to that third raid. Well, unfortunately we didn't get put against a special attacker, so we can't really make Make use of area impulse but just trust me that move is amazing when you do get put against a special attacker but the third raid is going to be a greedon water type five star let's begin so we're going to start off with an acid spray the good thing about setting up on your opponent is if you actually do go down by any chance then it's still there when you come back but the bad thing is it's more likely to remove negative effects earlier on opposed to nullifying you just because it's Greedent, I might actually use Acid Spray three times this time. So I really don't like Greedent. He does use Tail Whip, but he won't be out doing enough damage to us. And that will be, like, troublesome. He's going to use Stockpile, so I'm glad we used the third Acid Spray. Now, the good thing is, when you normally set up with Sword Stance or something, you just attack, right? But if you use three Acid Sprays, you can actually terrestrialize and get a really powerful hit away with Thunderbolt. So it'll do more damage than just setting up with a normal setup move. So we've terrestrialized already. I'm not sure how many stockpiles it used. I wasn't paying attention to its first move. Probably just the one. Let's see how much damage we do. So we do quite a bit of damage. Greedent's paralyzed, it can't move. We do love a da 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 dun sparse on the team. I was using that glare on the first turn. It does remove negative effects from itself and then nullify our stats. We're just gonna use acid spray again. All them animations cut out the time loads then. It uses bullet seed. I don't know whether you've uh, seen any videos where I've had to fight a Greedent, but I hate this Pokemon with its bullet sealed and stockpile like just stall in the raid constantly so after our second acid spray after him removing all the negative effects we're going to use thunderbolt see how much it does it just straight up just finishes him off and the raid's over and we go back to full health just to rub it in oh he wants to get an attack away before he actually goes down for real that's fine this is why we don't like greedent i'm sorry for anyone who really likes greedent he brings out the bad side in me 
Oh, we've got a solid herb and mystica. Okay, I like him a little bit. He gave me shiny flower. I like him now. So that's Electros. He's an amazing Pokemon. Highly recommend trying him out. And someone else I highly recommend trying out is going to be Camerupt. This Camerupt is going to be a machine. Great defense, great attack. And I really enjoyed using him as well. So go check him out. I'm going to put him on screen right now. And I'll catch you on the next one.